Hi, today we're going to take MapSite for Excel, which you can download from Microsoft Office 365. And we're going to create a map within Excel. And then we're going to export and publish that map on the web. So here we go. We can see we've got our data and we're geocoded. There's, uh, this is the data on COVID-19 confirmed cases in the USA. So I'm going to grab that data and I'm going to add it to a map. Okay, let's just add the longitude in there. Finish, okay. And that's all we need to do to create a map in Excel without leaving Excel at all. It's really that simple. So there we have it, uh, our first map in Excel of the COVID-19 cases in the USA. Uh, whilst we're just here, in here we've got uh, the ability to uh, change my data layers, different maps. Um, there's near map in there as well if you want to use high quality current images in the USA and Australia. Data layers, I can get rid of my pins, I can bring in heat map so I can change my opacity and I can change my intensity um, to how I, I want to represent the data. But that's not what we're here for. We're here today to create a first interactive web map. So let's just summarize. We're in Excel. We've created a map in Excel. And now we're going to create an interactive map out of this. We hit publish. Yes, it's, this is the sheet we want to, to publish. So I can do a number of these. And when you have finished publishing them, you do have to just drop in here and delete the ones that you no longer need. So if you've actually made these uh, public, then we can actually delete them. Uh, let's go back to publish my map. Yes, let's publish my map. And here we have, we've published the map that we just created in Excel. You can see we've actually got a link here, so I can copy that and paste it in LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, whatever, it'll, uh, it'll, it'll recreate this as a public map that's available for people to, to view. We drop in here again, we've got our usual things, we've got our map layers. Um, this time it's being aerial. Um, we can change uh, from pins to heat map. There we go, and again, our intensity as what we, we saved it as. So I might wanna change that down a bit. And of course, we can we can uh, use the zoom controls to zoom in on the map, and we might want to change our intensity level up a bit again. So there we go. So there we have it. I've published a map on the internet straight from Excel, but it's not finished. Maybe we want to take a closer look at some of the data. So say, for example, we want to grab some of this data from. Let's just say, for example, from that, those guys, and we'll join it back up. And it's now grabbed 1,184 data points, and it's given me the opportunity to download that. Now I've just downloaded that into a CSV file, which I can then open in Excel. So we've completed our journey. We've created a map in Excel. We've exported that map on the web. We've published it. We've selected some data and we've exported the data and it'll open up in Excel. Map site for Excel, publisher. It's free.